need a little more Jesus. over there. But she went to him and she told him, look, you know my husband was a man of God, but I cannot pay this debt. He said, well, what do you have in your house? What do you have in your house? She says, I have oil. She had the oil, but she didn't have no vessels. So he told her, he said, you go out to each house and you get vessels to, and bring them back and you fill them up. I'm going to tell you what, God's wanting a willing vessels this morning. He's wanting to fill somebody up. He's wanting to fill you with oil. She went out, she got those vessels and she brought them back. And when she brought them back, she took them in the house. Her and her sons went inside and began to fill the vessels. I feel the Holy Ghost. And as she was filling those vessels, she filled each vessel till she couldn't fill them no more. She ran out of vessels to fill. But she stopped. They come to take the... the back in that day and time, if you owed a debt, they could take your, your next generation to, to, put, to put you, enslave you to take care of the bill, the debt. She didn't want that to happen to her children. But they come to get her, but she gave them the oil. She gave them the vessels. Well, let me tell you something. Mary walked this earth. Mary was just a woman. A woman that God found favor in. A woman that God found that He could use. And He could put her, use as a vessel. She was a willing vessel. He brought down His own self and put Him inside of Mary. He is looking. What's wrong? We ask God a lot of times. God, we need a miracle. We need a miracle. But God is looking for a vessel that He can do a miracle in. That's right. He revealed this to me. Yes, you, you know, he's looking for someone that will be like Mary. And say, okay God, if it's me you want to use God, fill me up and use me yes. God. You know, that's what God's looking for this morning. He's looking for someone he can fill up with his spirit. Someone that will go out and do his work. Someone that he can use mightily. Yes. But back to the pain. I was in pain. And the Lord was revealing to me that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's the word of God. And he was revealing to me that the enemy comes to, you see, when you go out and you buy a pizza, let's just use this as an example. When you go out and you buy a pepperoni pizza, that box that pizza comes in is about 30, 50 cents, right? Yeah. 
It's a container to hold the pizza. Right? Because if you didn't have something to put the pizza in, and I was holding it in my hand, it would just begin to fall down and drip and break and go every which way, wouldn't it? But that box contains it. But that box was just 50 cents versus what that pizza cost. Do you see what I'm saying? God is looking for a vessel this morning. A vessel that will, He can fill with His oil. Just as He did Mary. I'm not saying you're going to have a baby, but I'm saying God wants to do a miracle in your life. God wants to do that. And as He was revealing to me about my pain, and I got up anyway and come on to church and, 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 I, and, and was praying the whole time, Oh God, you're going to have to help me. Oh God, you're going to have to help me. And, and, and as I got here, and I was sitting over there, and even still in pain, and then I got up here and I even thought about just sitting over there and letting them do it. What a thought. Thank God I didn't because I feel good right now. My body does not hurt. I'm telling you the truth. I can jump. I can run. I can bend over. But I was in pain. See, the devil wanted to stop me, Brother Johnny. The devil comes to attack our temple. He comes to destroy the temple because if he can destroy your temple, he's got you. Right? Because the spirit ain't going... See, he gets our, our minds focused. And believe me, when you're in pain, it's hard not to focus on pain. I mean, really. If you're crying out to God, help me, God, help me, God, remove this pain. I feel your pain, Brother Johnny. But I'm telling you, it's the devil. He's a liar. And, and as I begin to tell God, God, whether I'm in pain, whether I live, whether I die, I'm yours, Lord. Whether whatever happens to me, God, I'm yours. If I have to go through this situation, then I'll just have to go through it for your glory. Yes. And when we get to that point, God's going to do something. God's going to do something because I'm telling you, he's living, it's living proof this morning. He's touched me. He's touched me and we ain't been here how long, but I'm telling you, God has touched me this morning. We're serving a, a true God, a God that's still in the healing business. He's still a miracle worker. He's still your judge, your lawyer. He can do the things that we can't and we'll just trust him, get out of the way and let God be God in our lives. Get hungry and thirsty for God like never before. I'm telling you, we come to the house of God and I'm not trying to beat you down. And I'm trying to tell you something this morning. A lot of times we come in here and we miss our blessings because we ain't up praising or, or worshiping and getting our minds on God. We got our mind on what that one's doing. Or we got our mind on what that one's doing. We need to get our minds on God and get focused. I'm telling you, God can do miracles in this church house if we'll let Him. But He's looking for willing vessels this morning. Amen. He's looking for willing vessels. Sister Diane, you press your way through this morning. The enemy don't want you to press your way through. I tell you, but He's a liar this morning. God wants to do something in this house today. And we got to let Him do it. Let Him have full reign this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I just had to share that because God is just too good to me. And I'm telling you, that boy, that woman that became a widow, you know, uh, the thing about it was, I guarantee you, she was telling people what had just happened. Her sons ended up, she ended up getting to keep her sons. She ended up getting to, 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 getting debt free by just letting the Lord fill her vessels. You can be free today if you're not free. God's not dead. It's one of our favorites here. Who knows that? God's not dead. Amen. God's not dead this morning, sis. He's still alive. Well, God's not dead.
Amen.